This is a wonderful shrub in the spring in the Southern California landscape, in typical chaparral habitats in the San Diego region. Monkey flower, Mimulus arantiacus, usually red on the coast. As you travel inland, it begins to get more orange, and ultimately you've got species that are yellow. Used to be in the family Scrofulariaceae. It's been moved to a different family now called Frymaceae. In the San Diego region, the hills are awash with the scarlet colors of this mimulus species. Sticky monkey flower or bush monkey flower. It's a, a wonderful addition to the chaparral habitat. Hummingbirds are the pollinators. You can just picture a hummer with its beak inside. And we'll, we'll spend some time with some of the structures in there. And you can see how uh, it's a wonderful modification for hummingbirds and the scarlet flower of mimulus to uh, work together for the good of both. This uh, white structure is the stigma. And these yellow structures are anthers with pollen. And the idea is that a hummingbird will come from someplace else where it has acquired on its forehead some pollen from another plant. It'll take its little beak and poke it down inside and touch the stigma that has pollen from another source, get nectar, pull itself back, collect pollen from here to take to another plant. So you've got cross-pollination going on. And this little stigma will start out open, and within seconds it'll close on the pollen grains. And pollination is assured on monkey flower with the behavior of a hummingbird. Hummingbird is the smallest bird in the world, yes. and it uses lots of nourishment to keep its little body going. It has to feed several times in an hour to keep its little metabolism going. So it gets um, high-energy source nectar from the flowers. It also eats uh, little insects, the hummingbirds do. And these plants are designed so that you can see that a hummingbird can come up here and hover yeah. unencumbered. They can fly backwards and forwards and upside down and you name it, and then they'll be able to poke inside here and do that, do that process. You could watch a hummingbird sit here and go from flower to flower to flower to flower. In fact, if we'd sit here long enough, I could they, will get, they will come. Okay. The bees would spend time on other kinds of flowers. A bee would need a place to land. The hummingbird can hover here. Also, <clears throat> there might be a color... Uh, association. Hummingbirds can see red. Most insects can't. Most insects are blind to red. So that the bees will go after blue and yellow colors more often than they would the red. Now some of the uh, some of the butterflies can see red. And you could you could see a you can just picture a butterfly with its long little proboscis going down in there. So a butterfly could pollinate this, a hummingbird could pollinate it, but probably not a bee.